Welcome back to Unlocking Talking with Heather and Jane. Last week, we discussed how to support your child's language development during outside play. Today, we're going to talk about how to help your child understand and use language during a bedtime routine. I'm going to start with bath time. Similar to the suggestions we offer during other activities, bath time is another great time to label objects within your child's environment. For example, the faucet, the bathtub, water going down the drain, soap versus shampoo, a sponge versus a rag or a washcloth. You can also label actions like washing, pouring, splashing, squeezing, and swimming. This could also be a time to recount your day or to recall the day's events. While they're taking their bath, tell him or her what happened during your day and ask about his or her day. Try to stick with questions you may know the answers to so you can help out if they get stuck. There's always the brushing your teeth time for conversation. Location words, where to brush, top and bottom, front and back, front and the middle, putting on toothpaste. Show him or her your own toothbrush and have them copy you. Label the objects your child is putting on, whether it be their shirt or their pants. Are they long sleeve or are they short sleeve? Because it's warm outside or cool. Do they like to wear socks to bed or even slippers? Label what your child is doing. Put your left foot in first, put, your, put, put it on, put your arm up, pull it down, pull it over your head. If appropriate, have your child choose from two pajamas using a phrase to request. For example, I want to wear my Superman pajamas or I like my Hulk pajamas or I want to jump in my princess bed. All that talking is a, an important part of learning and yet you can use everyday things like getting ready for bed. Another part of the bedtime routine for us is reading books before bed. Some books that we can read have repetitive storylines. This is when you might hear a phrase or a sentence that's repeated over and over throughout the book. These books are great for kids who are trying to become involved and start to pretend to read the stories. So some examples are books like The Napping House. This book has a phrase and a few phrases that are repeated throughout the story. And I'll read a few for you. There is a house, a napping house, everyone is sleeping and in that house there is a bed a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping and on that bed there is a granny a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping so you can hear how we build on the sentences, but at the very end, it's always where everyone is sleeping. So when you read this story, you may read it a few times or over a few nights, and your child may begin to remember where everyone is sleeping. So you could pause and have them say that part of the story so they could become involved and act like they're reading it with you. Other books that have repetitive storylines that you might have or you might be able to check out from a library are books like Brown Bear, There Was an Old Lady. Another one that's a classic is Five Little Monkeys. Jumping on the bed, one fell off and, I bet you guessed it, bumped his head. These are fun stories that you can read that have repetitive storylines that repeat over and over so your child can start to learn the story and start to say it with you. We will see you again next time on Unlocking Talking with Heather and Jane.